Hello. Hello. And welcome to Let's, Let's talk, talk About, about book. book, where we talk about book. book. And our current book uh, is Well of Ascension yeah. by Brandon Sanderson, second Mistborn book. And we are Smivka and Strawberry. Yeah. And we are all out of whack yeah we're out of whack we we, we gotta fix it <laughs> yeah we gotta we gotta get in whack yep. that doesn't make sense <laughs> but yeah because you haven't been in cosmere brain yeah i've been uh reading all of will white's stuff and we each had like uh, headaches and stuff yeah. on different days because you had like a headache and then i had like like, was feeling kind of lightheaded, and, like, my eye hurt. Yeah. And then the next day, my eye, like, still hurt and was watery. Yeah. But didn't have, like, the headache. And then after that, I was fine. Yep. So it was just, like, it was just weird. Yeah. And, and, so, and so now we're, we're doing it, but, but we, we want to we wanna try and, you know, just, like, get doing it more often. But yep. then it's, like, the thing of, like, oh, it's, like, a thing that you, like, have to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But we'll, we'll we'll do it more often because I want to. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like I wanna I wanna get through. Yeah. I wanna read the book and I wanna like talk about it and stuff and it's fun. Yep. Uh, but yeah, we read chapters twenty three through twenty six. Yeah. Which is the second half because like we had did, done an episode and then it got messed up. Yeah. And so then it's been split into two episodes, and this is, like, the second half, essentially, of that episode. Yep. And so, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's all weird because it's, like, I'm going over these chapters again, and I'm, like, oh, yeah, this is familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just remembering, like, some of the stuff that we had said and whatnot. But, uh, but yeah, so we're going to start with the epigraphs. Yeah. First one is, the terrorists rejected him, but he came to lead them. Mm-hmm. I yield. That's all. It's just... <laughs> he commanded kings, and though he sought no empire, he became greater than all who had come before. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I wonder... I wonder if that... Like, if when I do the truncate slides... I think it'll take that out. If that'll just completely take that out, that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see. Because um, it was loud enough for us to hear it. Mm-hmm. And it might have... You might have still been able to hear it if we were talking. Mm-hmm. And it was still in there, but... Right. <laughs> so, the one before 25. Yes. <laughs> he fathered no children, yet all of the land became his progeny. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have a lot to say about these right now. Because it's like, they're just these little snippets. And it's interesting because they're talking about Alendi. And like, you know, the uh, the the man who would end up actually being Lord Ruler Rashik, kind of like, is pretending to be him seemingly. Yeah. So it's like it's interesting. Like, who was this guy before? Right. Yeah. And then he was forced into war by a misunderstanding, and always claimed he was no warrior. Yet he came to fight as well as any man. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like I don't, I don't quite know how to sort of like incorporate these bits into the rest of it yet. Yeah, you know, he was no simple soldier. He was a force of leadership, a man that fate itself seemed to support. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's the one before twenty-seven. Yep. Yep. Fate itself seemed to support him. What does that mean? <laughs> hmm. But yeah, I guess that's that's the epigraphs. Yep. Yeah, th- th- this time around I don't have a lot. <laughs> yeah, because it's just uh, some kind of statements and stuff that are mm-hmm, not just quite sort of, uh, connected. Right, it's just sort of like talking about who Elendi was. But uh, it's also like th- these are things that like don't mean much to us yet, right. in a sense, you know? Um, it's like, you know, like, I guess it's interesting because, um, so- something to say about it is that it, 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 you can kind of contrast it or compare it with, like, Ellen, because it's sort of about, like, the Lord Ruler, or it's, like, about Lendi, who was sort of becoming the Lord Ruler yeah. in the sense of, like, he was this guy who ruled over all this yep. stuff and yeah, was... Yeah, yeah doing campaigns and you know yeah he did take over like quite a bit yeah so so it's like you know 
him as like a leader and in this book you know so far we have been focusing on like ellen as a leader yep and and so it's like there, there, there's some things there you know the uh, but i don't quite know how to like compare and contrast them yet because it's also like you know this is the stuff that he's saying but also all the stuff he's saying is very kind of like vague yeah you know it's like it's one of those things that like i feel like once i know more going back to these it'll be like oh it, it means this yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. like it'll become like the meaning will become more clear but uh but but yeah that's that's all i got about them mm-hmm. so we're ready to i guess move on to chapter 23 yeah uh my notes i do have i have notes for these chapters although my notes start to uh like chapter 26 i don't have really like a ton yeah <laughs> but for chapter 23 uh I, my first note is that the coloss are easily as strong as straff's force yeah. Because, was it like, Sezed's come back and talking about... Yeah, 20,000, Ellen thought in shock. That was easily as dangerous as Straff's 50,000 men. Mm-hmm. Probably more so. Yeah. Yeah, because that was one of the things that we were talking about in the previous episode was sort of like how the Coloss are going to sort of like affect yep. the balance of power yep. and the sort of altercation and like... Are they as strong and, you know... So, remember when I said, like, three armies before? Mm-hmm. Like, there's, like, three armies there? That's, isn't that crazy? It's because I f- forgot that we hadn't talked about the Coloss yet. Mm, like, I don't remember way that. Way before, I was like, oh, yeah, the three armies or whatever, and, you, and you were like, there's only two armies there. And I'm like, yeah, right, 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 right. All the, the, yeah, <laughs> it's I... three armies fighting, it's only two armies there. And it was because that I was counting the Coloss <laughs> army that I that we hadn't gotten to yet. I I don't specifically remember that. I'm guessing that was in like one of the previous episodes. Yeah, it was. Cause, c- c- y- like you saying the like oh you know three armies fighting you know but only two there yeah. is is kind of familiar. But yeah, <laughs> I said that and I'm like oh well, okay <laughs> nope never mind. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right right two armies. Yep two armies don't know about the Coloss yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the team, uh, the team thinks that this could be good for us. I had been thinking, like, maybe we can put this to advantage yep. somehow. And so it was nice seeing the team be like, maybe we can use this. Yep. Uh, and Sazed brings up the mists following, uh, the death of Lord Ruler. Yeah, before with talking about the armies or whatever, they are talking about, like, they could probably take either one of those armies. And they're mm-hmm. kind of talking about putting them against, uh... Yeah, 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 sort of, uh pitting the armies against each other because then they wouldn't be able to pose as much a threat to them right or whatever yeah it, it does sort of become this interesting thing because it's like the initial plan is to make the two armies fight each other yeah and so then you know wh- whoever sort of comes out of that would be too weak to, to take them yeah but now there's like three armies and if two of them sort of cancel each other out and the third one can sort of also just sort just of stay out of just the, stay out right, of it. Yeah. Suddenly, we're sort of back to our like initial problem, right? So it's like this this Coloss army could be a problem in that sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either a help or a or a hindrance. Yeah, although if it sort of like goes after both of them at the same time, right? And they sort of both get weakened, you know, and it's like then they they'd have to try and like work together to be the same strength, maybe, you know, because it's like if it's like the two armies versus the Coloss right. army, and each one gets kind of, like, halved, yeah, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, suddenly it's like, now, by our powers combined, maybe? But they don't want to work together. Right. They don't want to split this thing. So it's like, there, there's ways, there's ways that this could sort of, yeah, like we said, help her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Um, no. We can go on to the mists. Yep, yep, because Sezed's talking about the mists, because he's like, the mists during the day. Yep. And they talk a little bit about the difference between mist and fog. Yes. Uh, Vin says, um, uh, or, so first, uh, says it, there's a difference between mist and ordinary fog. It's difficult to spot, perhaps, but noticeable to a careful eye. The mist is thicker and, well, it moves in larger patterns, Vin said quietly, like rivers in the sky. It never hangs in one place. It floats in the breeze. Uh, it, it floats in the breeze, almost like it makes the breeze. And it can't enter buildings or tents. It mm-hmm. evaporates soon after it does. Yeah, that's that's the weird and interesting one to me, is that it yeah. can't, like, enter buildings and tents and stuff. Yeah. That's an interesting fact to learn about it. Because also it's like, 
I think back at the very beginning when like Kelsier shows up to those sky yeah. like, don't let the mists in yeah. <laughs> but it's like actually they can't. Yeah, well cuz it, it talked about it like evaporating some at the door and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, I I think in the moment I just sort of thought like oh, you know, change in yeah. like sort of temperature environment or whatever, you know, but it's like that's nah, interesting that they like can't sort of come inside and also like it moves in different patterns. Yep. And it's like cuz it's also like it's affected by allomancy, seemingly. Yeah. Like, we, we've had these things where it's like, oh, using allomancy and the mist swirling yep. and, like, you know, drawing on the mist to do whatever. Yeah. So it's like, I do wonder if the mist has some sort of, like, you know, weird metal in it. It's being affected by, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, some sort of, like, geomagnetic forces that yeah. cause it to have these, like, patterns but it also seems to kind of be a living thing yeah sometimes because it seems to attack people and there's allomancy mist man that that fucking vin has to like <laughs> deal with so <laughs> yep. it, it, it seems to be alive but also who knows yep. yeah yeah uh <clears throat> and then my next thing is lord ladrian <laughs> breeze Oh, yeah. Because uh, Sazed starts referring to Breeze by his sort yeah. of proper name in that sense. And they're like, oh, I didn't know that was your name. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, because, like, he makes some comment about, like, the alliteration. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Uh, I apologize. Uh, apologize, <laughs> Lord Breeze. Apologize. <laughs> apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still accustomed to uh, calling people by their full names. Your name is Ladrian? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I've never been fond of it. Uh, and with Dear Sazed putting Lord before it, well, the alliteration makes it even more atrocious. Mm-hmm, yep. I wonder how it's um, Ladrian. L-A-D-R-I-A-N. Yeah, I did it um, uh, E. I did it with an E, not an I. Uh, uh, R-E-N? Uh, uh b- d- b- wait, let me see. Well, it's Lad Rian, and so I did R E A N. Oh, E A N. Yeah, so that was that was mine. Uh, and then Arian is spying suspiciously. Arian. Alrian. Alrian. I was like. What what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I don't know how to like spell because I'm just listening to the audiobook. So I was like Arian, but it's Alrian. Yeah, A L L R I A N N E. R I A N N E. Yep. Alrian. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh. At least that's how they say it in the audiobook. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Alrian. Yeah, she's spying suspiciously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, like, Ellen picks up on her, like, weird, suspicious elements. Yeah, she heard voices. The guest quarters aren't anywhere near the kitchens. Uh, mm-hmm. And then he's like, I'm starting to think like Vin. And, uh, um, uh, do I have to say it? I know, you don't trust anyone, Vin. This time I'm right. She was dressed, but her hair was disheveled. She must have done that inten- intentionally. I noticed. You did? <laughs> yep. She sounded impressed. <laughs> yep, because we do see in his head that he's, like, saying these things, yep. and then Vin comes up and says them, and it's like, oh, I was thinking of that. Yep. It's like, aha, <laughs> nice. See, and, and this is part of why I wonder if maybe she's, like, a 10 eye. Because it was the whole, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah. she heard that, but she was all the way over there. So it's like, she could just be lying. It's yep. like, oh, I heard something. It's like, you wouldn't have been able to hear that from there. You were just snooping around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, it's like, wait, could it have been, you know, a, a, a ten eye yeah. sort of situation? But yeah, I'm like, is she, because she's, because like, her snooping around and stuff could be, you know, innocent. People do that. People you know, want to, like, know things. Yep. But, uh, you know, she's suspicious. Yep. She's suspicious. Yep, and, and it she's... is, like, Seth's daughter. And exactly. And just, like, showed up and, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and it's, like, in the last book, we had a character who was set up to be, like, oh, she's just, like, ditzy whatever. Um, but then, like, she, like, turns yep. out to actually be... But then, like, nothing kind of comes of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the sense of it's, like, that's it's sort of shows so like oh vin sort of being played and that yep. she's not as like in control of the stuff as she thinks you know and yeah like, but we only get like one more scene with her and then we don't see her again and then we don't see her again so like this kind of feels like it's like I- i'm already primed to be like no nah, i'm not just gonna trust yeah, that yeah, yeah. oh you're just some 
court lady who doesn't know blah blah, blah. like yeah. you know it's like oh you know i was you know in the country and you know like i like because in in a later chapter she asks about like you know oh you must have been like far from court or whatever but my yeah. mom you know yeah, trained yeah, yeah. me properly or whatever and it's like you know i don't know i'm just like the nobles this is, this is what they do you know this is their whole yep. shtick is yep. this like subterfuge and like you know the sort of the political sort of that kind of game so like i i i am suspicious mm-hmm. of her i feel like she could be a spy i don't think that she in like yeah that like speaking of suspicious i was like and who's the chandra and i'm like could she that doesn't make any yeah, sense yeah, never yeah. mind <laughs> but you know you're just like <laughs> yeah brains going like who's who's doing what uh yeah so that's yeah it's like i think she's maybe a 10 eye that was one of my notes uh ellen is thinking more like vin and then i have say Zed and tindwall yeah because they end up having a conversation uh, but also there's a little bit where, like, they eat, don't they? Where it's, like, says it's, like, eating with them, the crew, and and they're, like, go ahead and eat, because he, he's, like, waiting for them or something. Um, I, because they, they're with the whole crew and stuff during mm-hmm. this whole conversation, so I think that probably does... Yeah, because there's, like, some bit where it's, like, you know, uh, you know, being, like, you're a friend, eat, you know. But I don't remember if that's, like, now or if that's, like later per se um, um i don't see it right here mm-hmm well yeah then it's just uh, it goes to the say Z point of view mm-hmm. and him just like thinking about the mists and should i said it, should i have said anything yeah or, or and all that yeah hmm yeah because i know that, that like happens at some point yeah um because there's like a whole just like old bit where it's like you know like oh you're being too polite like you know eating stuff because yeah. he just like showed up maybe it was in like the last yeah it could have been chapter and, and not this chapter but i thought then like the last chapter he like literally like, just showed up uh, a little so there's um they're like sitting down to eat and then there was say Zed. the chair's been set directly across from ellen with the calm air of collectedness that only say Zed could manage his robes were dusty, and it looked odd without earrings. Um, removed, not that tempt thieves. Hmm. Uh, so there's a little bit. Um, uh, so as it hesitated, the palace chef finally walked over, setting a plate of food before him, steamed barley with strips of steak and some spiced leggettes? Uh, leggettes? I don't know. Uh, the scents were enough to make Ellen a little hungry. He nodded thankfully to the chef who insisted on preparing the meal himself despite the late hour, who waved his waved to his staff and began to withdraw. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, aren't you hungry? Ellen asked, nodding to say Zed's plate. I can eat once our discussion is finished. Say Zed, you're not a servant anymore. You don't have to worry about things like that. It's not a matter of serving or not, Lady Vin, say Zed said. It's a matter of being polite. Mm-hmm. Say Zed, Ellen said. Yes, your majesty? He pointed at the plate. Eat. You can be a plight another time. Right now you look famished and you're among friends. Yep. There we go. That 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 was the bit yeah. that I was looking for. Yeah, because I was like, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed that, that that little bit. Um, you know, sort of uh you know it's like it's about being polite and yeah. it's like, is it Because like so much of politeness is like just weird stuff like that yep. where it's like it's stupid. <laughs> Yup. <laughs> it's like it's not really polite to a lot of like specific like etiquette. There's like mm-hmm. table etiquette, like that type of stuff is just like talking about politeness and stuff. I just mm-hmm. don't understand. I can't get it. Yeah, th- there was there was like there was someone who I went in, in college. We had like classes together, and we were in like a club together, and she would not start eating until everyone else's food had arrived yeah and and she was just like it's just a personal thing yeah yeah, yeah. it's like i don't expect other people to do it but it's just like a personal thing and i'm just like i don't yeah yeah you know it's like I, I kind of get some of it where it's like when like it's like oh like eating when no one else has food yeah feeling kind of like whatever but it's like at a certain point it's just like, like everyone's got yeah, 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 yeah it's like i don't know um but yeah and and you know it's like 
you did, mostly like the food comes out like all at once yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but yeah, it's just like no, you, can, it's like, it's, it's, you just got here. Yeah, and, like, it's all right. <laughs> like, you can eat. Like I don't think anyone else is even planning on eating right now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like oh, you know, it's like wait until the discussion's done. It's like no, you can eat right now. Yeah. But yeah, um, and then it says it in Tindall, uh, because. You know, after yeah, after yeah, that, yeah. says it goes off and is thinking about like, oh, I should, maybe I shouldn't have brought up the mist and stuff. And Tindall's like, you know, because like says it's like, oh, you 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 came, you know, you my my request or whatever, yeah, and she yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. and you didn't, <laughs> yep, do mine or whatever. <laughs> it's like, why are you here? You should be, you know. Uh, like, you know the directions the Synod gave you. You're supposed to be in the Eastern Dominance, teaching the peoples on the borders of the Burnlands. Synod? Yeah. Oh. See, in the in the audiobook, <clears throat> listening to it, especially on like a slightly higher speed, I straight up thought they were just saying Senate the whole time. I watched another podcast mm -hmm. where they were convinced that they were saying senate the whole time like yeah. until until like so, uh, a mm -hmm. discussion like this yep yeah yeah, yeah. It, it was like yeah. I, I definitely thought they were just saying the, the, the senate. senate yeah 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 no it's uh s y where is it mm. s y n o d s y n o d yeah synod interesting yeah yeah um, she's like, uh, this, this is, I have Thedzen, Rydell, Riddell, uh, young people named by Tindwell. <laughs> Tindwell just, like, says some names, like, you know, fire upstarts, like, like, and then says two names when talking about, like, I get why, you know, they would do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but, but you say that, you know, it's, like, pretty early on in their whole thing. Yeah, it is. Vedzan and Rindell. Yep. Uh, which, uh, pretty close. Oh, it's Vedzan, and yeah. I had Thedzan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Rindell, and I have just Riddell. Yeah. So, pretty close. Yeah. Young people named by Tyndall. I'm like, I don't know if these names are going to be important later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just, you know, you, you, you gave, you gave a proper name. Yep, <laughs> you yep. gave, like, you just gave me some names. You just gave me some names. So, you know, just pin that somewhere. <laughs> um, Yeah. Uh, Tindwell wants says it not to uh, pursue the mist stuff. Says and Tindwell have a little silent moment at the end of the chapter. Yeah. Yeah. So she's like, "Stop doing the mist stuff," you know. And it's like, you know, the last time I went yep. against the synod, I like freed us. Yep, and then <laughs> or I was involved in. Uh, yep, you and, know. and and overthrowing the Lord Ruler, and it's like they really hated that. Yep. <laughs> that it was true. It's like you went against them, and it was the right thing to do. Yep. They're like you, you disobeyed, <laughs> and it worked. But so we can't really actually be like mm -hmm. mad at you, but like also mm -hmm. what? <laughs> yep, and it's like maybe that should be a fucking lesson for you. Yep. Um, but there was a little bit during that scene, so so a little bit during that scene, a little part of me was like, okay, <laughs> it's, you know, it's like, the, you know, the last time that I'm like, yeah. fucking says it, having a little, a little badass moment over yeah. here, and I'm like, okay, um, it, you know, a, a little cheesy, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, uh, but then says it and Tind will have a little silent moment together yeah. there at the end where they kind of have like a, a like touch hands or something yeah, yeah, and you yeah. know and then like go on and yeah. it's like ooh what's what's up with that you know and they got some sort of relationship whatever yeah. whatever that be you know uh and that's uh that's my notes for chapter 23 if you've got any more stuff you want to talk about i did like this little thing in like with in tindwell and Zayzad's conversation mm -hmm. um with her basically being like uh you spend all this time like working against mm -hmm. the the final empire like you can't just like right, you can't right. just like let something go. like you like y yeah it's like you... uh, now you can't content yourself with ordinary work so you've invented some grand threat to the land you're afraid of being irrelevant right yeah, yeah, yeah. it's interesting because it's like it's understandable why she would sort of like yeah. think that and have and that perspective we've se seen a bit into Seizad's head and like that's not really f his full motivation 
but it's not not a yeah. motivation. Oh yeah, it, it's not entirely untrue. Right. Because because it's like we do see him like out there and he's like trying to like teach and stuff, but sort of it's not the sort of glamorous work that he wanted right. it to be. But he, you know, so he, he was still like doing. He was, it. and he's and he would have still been doing it if mm-hmm. not for coming across like this weird. Yeah, stuff. this like weird miss stuff. It's like you know, like we know because we've sort of been there from say that's perspective right. and also from Vin's Vin, perspective yeah. where she's had like these weird experiences so, like we know something's going on and they're like yes go go in that direction yep. but it's understandable why like Tyndall would be like it's like you've you've done all of this stuff like you, mm-hmm. you can settle down you don't have to keep doing life or death mm-hmm. like you know <laughs> you can settle down or settle up yeah, and become yeah, yeah, yeah. the leader of our people yep, question yep. mark <laughs> which yep. is like a whole thing you know just like uh, and that also makes sense. Like, he's, mm-hmm. like, the one who was involved in... Uh, in, in saving, yeah. you know, the world, essentially. Yeah. Uh, you know, everything's kind of fucked up, yeah. unfortunately. But it, it's, you know, it's still, like, better in the long run, one assumes. Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So is that everything? Yeah, I think that's good for uh, 23. All righty. Chapter 24. Uh, my note, first note is, Vin's glad to have Sezed's stories to somewhat corroborate her experiences. Yep, yep. Because, you know, she's like, it's like, someone else is also, like, thinking about this and worrying about this, so it's like, I don't feel quite so, like, crazy. Um, oh yeah, and, and this was something that, like, we talked about. Um, clubs burns bronze, I thought he did copper. Mm-hmm. Cause, cause there's a bit in here where, where straight up she's like, I had clubs burn bronze and he didn't sense this whatever, even though clubs is a smoker. Where did she say that he burned bronze? There's like, yeah, talking about going north, the thumping, the like allomancy, like pulse with the bronze. And, and she says that she like had someone else burn bronze to see if they could feel it uh oh, okay so maybe it's an audiobook versus book thing because mm-hmm. it says she had asked one of ellen's seekers to burn bronze mm-hmm. that's the line in here yeah so i'm wondering mm-hmm. if that's like a, an error or something yeah or it's like it's like oh no he doesn't burn bronze and mm-hmm. so then they just yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so but like, i'm not 100 percent certain right because i for sure was like wait clubs that doesn't make any yeah, sense yeah, yeah. you know like if it had been like oh you know uh what's his face before he went off yep yeah, yeah, yeah uh marsh marsh yeah if it had been like marsh before like he went off and that would make sense but like straight up it was like clubs and i'm like yeah. that doesn't make sense but in the books it just says one of ellen's uh, seekers, which yes. makes a lot more sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because also, like, you got these like recently. These like paperback. Yes. Yeah. They're like pretty new. So yep. like these are probably like it's probably some sort of like update or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sort of like error that got fixed. Um, yeah, because I was like, what the hell? Yeah, because when you said that, I was like, yeah, because it should be copper for mm-hmm. clubs. So. <laughs> yeah. So so that's good that you get some sort of like uh, idea on that because because like, I remember like writing it down and being like, yeah, we talked about this before, yeah. and there was some sort of, like, weirdness thing. Uh, yeah. And then I have Vin going over the logbook. Yeah. Uh, you know, reading over that stuff. Uh, Zane has been waiting for Vin. We get some, like, Zane. Yes, yeah, POV. yeah, POV. Yeah. I did want to say before we moved on to the Zane mm-hmm. point of view, um, was, like, talking about the, the rhythm that she's mm-hmm. been hearing or whatever. Right, right, right. Uh, could it be, uh, that Vin heard a rhythm nobody else could hear? Nobody except a man a thousand years dead? A man everyone assumed was the hero of ages? Mm-hmm. You're being silly, jumping to conclusions, and so then. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, but it's something. <laughs> it's something is the thing, and I'm like, and I'm, cause, like, there's not mention in the logbook of him, like, doing Alamancy. But nope. he's, like, getting these pulses, but also the Seekers aren't getting the pulses, but the pulses are, like, reminding her of Alamancy. Yeah. So, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the good, fuck is it? Good questions. <sighs> <laughs> Alright, now we can move on to mm-hmm. Zane was uh, waiting. Yes. Been, basically been waiting in the place where... Mm-hmm. 
he lost her last time. Yes. Yeah, Zane's been waiting for Vin. Uh, they talked more about being used and such. Yep. Uh, Vin says she wants to kill the camp leaders. Her first thought, though, was to go north towards the thumping. Yeah. Um, when they're having, like, some of that conversation. And, and that's, like, all of my notes for this chapter, essentially. Um... But yeah, it's like they meet up. He he was, was like, uh, "What would you do, Vin? Uh, assuming you didn't have any constraints, assuming there were no repercussions for your actions, go north." The thought was immediate. Find out what is causing that thumping. But she didn't say it. I don't know. She said and said instead. Yep. And then and then like he's gonna like leave, and she's like, "You you know what I'd do? I'd go to the camp and kill all the people or yep. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, kill the people in charge." Which I'm like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I got you, Vin. I, I, I feel it. Like, I'm I'm on board with it, and it's like, you know, it's like, no, you know, uh, Ellen doesn't want me to, and yeah. it's like, you know, but but what if he does, you know, if he changes his mind, and it's like, you know. Um, it, it's just this whole thing, it's like, you know, he, he doesn't have this sort of, like, concept of, like, doing something for someone because you like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, she's having to sort of, like actively confront her sort of like past way of thinking in the form of like yes zane showing up and like doing this sort of stuff but also she's having this like pull on him yeah because he thinks you know it's like maybe it's I could... like maybe i can get out or whatever mm-hmm. which is which is interesting yeah um making that sort of very explicit which makes me wonder it's like either this is very clearly telegraphing that he's going to do that or yeah. it's gonna like sort of swerve yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he was like oh we're gonna go and then like uh no nope. yeah. you know sort of like turn away not in like a betrayal sense but in, like no i can't yeah and, like, you know yeah, yeah, yeah sort of backsliding essentially uh, i feel like before there's any sort of like them teaming up there'll be some sort of like it seems like they're about to and then and no then, and then yeah, maybe yeah. they will sort of like later uh like you know there'll be a sort of dramatic he helps them kill straff and yeah. then he like fucks off or yeah, something yeah, yeah. you know like, like I, I could see it going a few ways because I, I could see this you know carrying on into like the next book yeah. or being resolved this book who knows mm-hmm. um yeah what's the next book gonna be like and what's this book gonna be <laughs> because this book is like two things right now because it's like there's yep. like the war stuff that's happening right now but yeah, there's yeah, also yeah. like all this like miss stuff yeah this book is called the well of ascension like they're gonna go to the well of ascension at some point i imagine but maybe not maybe they're just gonna learn about it i don't know what's the next book called the next book is called hero of ages that's what i thought it's just like like is someone gonna become like are they just gonna like learn about the well of ascension and then the next book they go there yeah. or like at the end of this book one of them goes there and becomes the new hero of ages and then book three is one of us is the hero of ages now and what does that mean yeah. because i could see sanderson having a book like that i mean yeah. we had we've overthrown the final empire yeah. now what yeah and so it's like oh you're the new god king now what yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um or god queen because i could very much see it being then who yeah. becomes the new hero of ages so she gets to be the god queen instead yeah girl boss diversity win the, the theocratic <laughs> dictator is a ska woman <laughs> <laughs> uh but but who knows because because i feel like if anyone's going to become the new hero of ages yeah. it's vin because she's the mistborn who's yeah. doing stuff and sensing the ba dump ba dump and <laughs> <laughs> that, i love it sensing the ba dump ba dump yes so good <laughs> Uh, episode title sensing the badumpa dump. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes, that's the, that's the episode epi- <laughs> episode title. Episode title. Episode. Episode. <laughs> episode title. <laughs> um, but yeah, see, cause cause it, it opens up the door for for someone in the crew to try and be a, a freaking. Rashik. Yeah, I wanted yeah, to say yeah. Rasputin. Rasputin. Yeah. Secretly Rasputin the whole time. No. Um it's like, oh, Zane tries to like Rashik it or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just like someone else on the crew. The Chandra. We just don't find out who the Chandra is. <laughs> until yeah, and, yeah. until the next book where it's like, you know, fucking uh uh God. Names. I'm so bad with names. Um Dachshund. Mm-hmm. Dachshund fucking reveals <laughs> to be the Chandra. Because Dachshund's my number one yeah. 
current number one suspect for being the freaking Chandra. Yeah. Because it's like, it could be Spook. Yeah. That'd be lame. (laughs) I think it'd be lame if it was Spook. Because Spook was, like, so barely there. Yeah. The first book. So for this book, for him to have just been replaced by a Chandra. And it's just like... (laughs) And we've only seen just, like, a teeny bit of him. Right. It's like... Poor spook, we hardly knew you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so my number my my number one like sort of big punchy guess yeah. is Doxon, mm-hmm. but my other guess is that it's just someone else, essentially. Okay. You know, not someone important, but then it well, no wait, it was Demu. Yeah. Sorry, I I I, I did I could Dem, Demu who is named but not important enough. Yeah. But also, it's like I don't know. I just I feel like it's probably Dachshund. Mm-hmm. But I don't want it to be Dachshund because I like Dachshund. Yeah, Dachshund was cool. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But that's also not what this chapter is about anyway. <laughs> so. Well, I mean, th- this this whole book is uh, mm-hmm. is find the Chandra. So yeah, that yeah. is it's this part of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, because I'm glad that we're getting more about Chandra, but it's like, yeah. we, we've we now opened the door. We've mm-hmm. opened the Pandora's box of like, who's a Chandra? Someone could be a Chandra. Mm-hmm. You're making faces over there that I'm yeah. like. <laughs> One of the other... Don't worry about it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's like, now, suddenly, you can be blindsided by some weird Chandra yep. shit. Yep. With, like, you didn't even think that you had to be worrying about yeah. it. Like, like, fucking wild, just anyone. Yep. Lee Cow? Chandra, actually. <laughs> that's not, that's not fucking his friend. Yeah, yeah, How can yeah. he control the Coloss? Because he's a Chandra. he's a Chandra. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You know? <laughs> like, oh, Marsh? Actually, that was a conjure the whole time. <laughs> um, just just looked like it was Marsh. That's but why he was acting so someone. weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, see, oh, there's no such thing as a rogue conjure, you say, so that we can get blindsided by a rogue <laughs> conjure <laughs> later. <laughs> you think that I'm a fool? The, 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 these characters are fallible and can be wrong about things. Uh... <laughs> You know, because the thing is that the Chandra, like, they they are not, like... Because before it was like, oh, they have to serve one. They have to serve someone. It's impossible. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, well, that's only, like... That, but that's not, like, a metaphysical right, 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 right. truth, right? Like, y'all existed prior to yep. the contract. Yep. Like, y'all tried to just sort of live amongst people, and it didn't go well. So it's like... No, the idea of a rogue Chandra is not entirely out of the yeah. question. Because y'all are a society. And as such, you have members who may conform more or less to yeah. the standards of the society. You know? Yep. So it's like... Yeah. So, so you know, turns out Vin was a Chandra all along. Vin was a Chandra all She didn't even know. She was just, you know... <laughs> Uh, the, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's fun because I'm like, work, work on it. Just like, yeah. Churning out the sort of like, you know, the, the, these are the theories. The, you, the crack theories. Yes. You know, it's like when, when, you know, in like Game of Thrones and stuff and like a Song of Ice and Fire where we've been like waiting yeah. for so long and it's like when magic is on the table yep. and we've seen certain weird things, it's like maybe actually all along see Vin's mom did actually succeed in killing her and then fed her to a chandra and that's and that's actually she's been a chandra the whole time and she didn't even know <laughs> it's like oh but chandra can't do elements well actually it turns out that <laughs> you know because she's related to the lord ruler actually because that was a theory that i had before yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it's like <laughs> You just, you know, a- anything that doesn't make sense. Right, well, you just uh, make up a new... You know, because it's like, well, there could be an exception. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, it's like, but what if? This time it's different. <laughs> because sometimes it happens, you know? Sometimes things are not quite how you think they are. Everything. 
Nothing is not what it seems. Now it's going to be stuck in my head. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I've uh, cursed you. With the Wizards of Waverly Place uh, mm-hmm. opening song. Yep, I cast Wizards of Waverly Place. <laughs> um, but yes, so so those those are all my notes. We didn't even really talk about like the Zane and, and Vin stuff. Yeah, not much. It's more kind of just like... Because honestly, this conversation felt a bit just sort of like... It's a bit repetitive, yeah, honestly. Because it, it's kind of... They've already ha- had this discussion right. one and a half times, I think, before this. Yeah, it, it really sort of feels like, you know, it's just sort of like... And we're, and we're having this conversation again yeah, yeah, where it's yeah. like, you're being used, I'm not being used, yep. you're being used, yeah. I'm not being used. You know, just, it just, you know. This conversation was a little bit like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. you know, this is a sort of same thing we kind of kind of been doing yeah with them so you know i think we probably could have gotten away with just like the little bit of zane's point of view Mm -hmm. of like of like waiting for her and like yeah yeah sort of the ways in which he's like kind of wanting to like sort of being drawn towards her in a way yeah and so we just get like kind of his half of it but Mm -hmm. not we don't have to go through the whole like discussion again yeah because because it really does feel like the same like like the one thing that is interesting to me it's like uh i like you know it's fun seeing characters talk sometimes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but it's also sort of like like oh vin what she really wants is to go you know right you know we we get the sort of thing like you know if you could do anything yeah you know if you could do anything right now you know not beholden to anyone what would you do and so that's like a a neat little like moment yeah but the 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 scene as a whole feels a little repetitive in that way even though there's like a couple like little things that are like oh that's interesting it just feels a little like yeah 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 you know like (laughs) oh you're being used i'm not being used oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the the the, you know zane doing his edgelord shtick and then being like i grew up <laughs> yep. yeah i grew yeah, out yeah. of my edge lord face yeah and being like actually <laughs> i find that babies are smart no <laughs> <laughs> that is what he says though he's like <laughs> yeah it's like you know children's instincts are most honest or whatever yep. you know it's like it's saying i think babies are smart is the most <laughs> like you know rude way oh, to put yeah. it yeah, which yeah, is yeah. like actually i think <laughs> babies are smart. <laughs> <laughs> Tips. <laughs> Tips, Miss Cloak. Tips, Miss Cloak. <laughs> uh, oh no, he doesn't have a Miss Cloak. He doesn't. He just like. I, I'm, tips I'm, invisible, Miss Cloak. Invisible, Miss. Yes, Tips, invisible, Miss Cloak. Well, it's just like uh, I'm. I'm trying to think of some like you know, Miss Born. <laughs> Yes, M- Miss Born. Miss M- Born. <laughs> Alternate um, episode title. It's Miss Born, but it's With like the... but it's like the apostrophe yeah, in there, yeah. completely making it uh, like it's just like why <laughs> it would not read Miss Born. <laughs> Like, it's hard to even, like, make it work. Mistborn. Mistborn, but in, but because, like, I'm wanting to put the, like, you know, like, uh, Mistborn. <laughs> it just doesn't work like I want uh. it to. Um, but anyway, what did we even say? We were talking about Zane. Yeah, no, but I'm also trying to, like, what even, what was the, like, <laughs> what even title did we say earlier? I don't remember. Like, I, I'll have to just, like, re-listen yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. Something the ba-dum-ba-dum. <laughs> like yeah, feeling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sensing or feeling yeah, the... Yeah, 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 Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll write it down. Oh, my God. <laughs> when, when I edit. Uh, but, yes, that, that... Chapter 24. Yeah. Alright. Chapter 24. Chapter 24. Done. <laughs> chapter... 25. All right. Uh, <laughs> right, my, my first note is, yeah, they are poisonous. <laughs> because she she talks about, like, not sleeping with metals in her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like... Yeah, many of the elementic metals were poisonous to some small extent. It, it was uh, unavoidable that she'd have to deal with some of that danger, but she'd been warned to burn away excess metals at the end of each day. It's like, thank you, because I've been fucking yeah. screaming about this. <laughs> 
since book one where it's like like they tell i actually remembered this like it's like talking mm-hmm. about them having to like burn it off at night and stuff like mm-hmm. that but like they hadn't talked about it because like they do talk about some in the first book but just like just acknowledging yes this is poisonous yeah, 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 yeah. you know before it's like it's oh it's not good to like just keep in your system just keep in your system and it's like you know saying like oh there's some danger even <laughs> just like yep not bring them it's like lynn lynn yeah Vin is gonna die of lead poison <laughs> before before she even has a chance to, you know, go to the fucking north or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, Tindall scares the shit out of Vin. Yeah. She, like, opens the door and Vin fucking, you know, like a cat just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, like, or has two daggers out and mm-hmm. is, like, on her feet ready. In in my head, Vin is very much cat. Oh, yeah, she's very cat. She's cat-coded. <laughs> 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 you know, in my head, it's like she, like... Pops up essentially like on all fours on the bed. Yeah, yeah. Like, yep. <laughs> uh, just with the two daggers, um, and and then I have shopping episode. Oh, and she had downed a, a vial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she she grabbed uh, metals and a dagger. Mm-hmm. Just immediately. Both her daggers. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she. Uh, it, it's it's a shopping episode. We're, yes. Yeah. Tindall's gonna take a shopping. Mm-hmm. Um, and, oh yeah, Spook's off the suspicious list, mm. because she senses him using Alamancy, using, using right. his tin. Right, 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 Because he is seemingly just kind of like, like her, just kind of like, burns tin regularly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, just sort of casually. That's the thing, it's like, a lot of these fucking Mistings, they, in Mistborn, they, they're just fucking doing Alamancy all the time. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. especially now that the Lord Ruler's gone, and mm-hmm. they're, like... Not having to sort of, like, hide in that sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, she's like, let's go shopping. Let's go get you, like, a gown. Not a gown. That's not the right term. I mean, I guess yeah. it is. But, like, a dress for, for going to see Lord Straff Venture. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, she's there with, like, Spook. Yeah, and, and she brings Arianne. Arianne, yep. Uh, I have Tyndall is more kind with Vin. Uh, always with the arranged marriage question, Vin yeah. doesn't feel good enough or right for Ellen. Yeah. Uh, I actually have a... I, I thought that I was about to get to, like, the end of my notes, but I actually have a lot more notes than that, so I don't want to just keep <laughs> blasting through all of them. But yeah, like, Tyndall is sort of, like, being nicer to Vin than she is to Ellen. Yes. Uh, and Vin's kind of like weird out it's like she's she's lying yeah. essentially he's like i've seen how you are with ellen yeah it's like yeah well ellen's a little bitch <laughs> yeah she's like ellen could use uh where is it okay because i think i've jumped uh it's uh a bit um why are you being so nice to me why shouldn't i be because you're mean to ellen don't deny it i've listened in on your lessons you spend time <laughs> insulting and disparaging him but now you're pre- pretending to be nice <laughs> i'm not pretending child then why are you so mean to ellen the lad grew up as a pampered son of a great lord now now that he's king he needs a little harsh truth i think <laughs> i sense that you've had quite enough of that in your life yeah he needs to not be such a little bitch <laughs> but you you've been through it so yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you get to be a little bitch every now and then. <laughs> um yeah, and so it's like we're we're going we're gonna go get dresses and stuff, and we're there with Ariane. Oh yeah, cause cause her and Ariane, uh, Vin and Ariane have like a moment where it's like they're in like the cart together, and Vin's like, <laughs> I was a scotch. She's like, oh you poor thing, <laughs> which is just like so funny, um, the the, the just sort of the weird new dynamic now between the sort of ska yeah. nobility yeah, 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 yeah oh yeah and she's also like she brought or sir and so it's like <laughs> yeah it's like hey your dog and it's like my dog stays <laughs> yeah yeah um <laughs> uh, yes oh you poor thing and then or sir chuckles mm-hmm. <laughs> yep um yeah and i and i have um yeah tindall and and vin are talking and then like uh Tindall brings up marriage again. Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Why aren't y'all like, married? Yeah. Why haven't uh why why haven't you married him, child? <laughs> it's like always with the marriage question. What kind of question is that? An, An honest, honest one. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it it's it, it is interesting cuz it's like, you know, they 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 want to be but they like Vin has these like hang-ups. Yeah. 
It's like, you know, Vin, Vin has, like, these weird sort of, like... Like, I'm, I was always, like, he's grown up a noble and is, mm-hmm. like, being a king, so, like, I'm... Just not the right person. Right. Like, you know, how could it possibly be me? Yeah. Um, if it doesn't feel good enough or right for Ellen, like, you know, doesn't he deserve someone different, you know, someone like her? Yep, yep. Uh, talking about Ariane. The next note is maybe Ariane is just a regular person. (laughs) I don't know why during this section I was like, maybe she's just a regular person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, I mean... She seems very chill. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, she could be just kind of like a, sort of a... A different sort of a foil for Vin. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, it yeah. sort of like kind of represents this sort of like side of Vin that, that she doesn't. That she like, that she actually enjoys mm-hmm. but doesn't feel like she's allowed to participate in. Right. She's like, I, I don't like that I like this yes. <laughs> in a sense. Um, you know, sort of feels guilty about it. Um, so it's like, you know. Yep. It's a bit like a, a, like, not like other girls, girl Mm -hmm. realizing. Yes. You know, it's like that type of, type of thing, like, embracing that type of stuff. (laughs) I I, I saw something about that on Tumblr one time. Mm. I I haven't been on, like, you know, that, that part of Tumblr too much because, like, spoilers and whatnot, but someone was like, you know, uh... Vin really went from I'm not like other girls to maybe I am like other girls to you know all girls are unique and blah 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 yeah, I forget yeah, exactly yeah. how it yeah. how it went but just something like that um but yeah I just, <laughs> I just had the thought it's like you know if, if Zane is supposed to be kind of like a foil for Vin and also um, Ariane I'm like yeah, 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 yeah. you know it's like uh there are two wolves inside of you one of them is an edgelord one of them is <laughs> One of them is a, is, is a, um, I'm trying to think of like a good, like, yeah. one word thing for her it, that's not bimbo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Because yeah, that yeah. feels not right and too mean, <laughs> you know? She, There's she, people, uh, who w- w- reclaim the word bimbo. Oh, no, for sure, but it also just doesn't no, quite feel like the proper sort of, right. you know, it, 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 it's, it's, you know, she's ditzy. A ditz, maybe? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah, sort yeah. of like, uh, uh, or, cause, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like a debutante comes to mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like a. She's a lady. She's a lady, you know. Lady mm. in the, in the, like, yeah, the, uh, the, title the, sense. Yes, the, 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 the lady in the edgelord on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Another good episode title. <laughs> the, the lady in the edge lord <laughs> on your shoulder. Uh yeah. But but anyway. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, she she's like uh Tyndall and her talk about like um oh yes, the uh yeah, I wish to help you turn into whoever you are. Yes. Sort of like, yeah. it's like what, 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 whoever it is that you want to be, if that includes dresses or not, I just want you to like, you know, figure that out for yeah. yourself, essentially. Yeah. Um, Which is super sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tyndall explains why she treats them differently. Yeah. We already talked about that. Uh, yeah, Vin has a moment with the people. <laughs> yeah. Vin the prophet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, where, where it's like... The, she's not a fan. No, she's really not. But, like, the Scott come up and have, like, a sort of religious moment with her. Yeah. And she's like, it'll be all right. And, you know, uh, Ellen's not gonna abandon you. Yeah. And all this sort of stuff. And she's like, I lied to them. And it's like, you don't know that yet. Yeah. You were just optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we, you know, we won't, and like... It's like, it's like, it's not gonna happen. It's like, okay, then run away then. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, that that is sort of the thing that, like, you got to sort of appreciate about Tindwall. Yep. Where it's like, it's like, oh, you're like, it's not going to happen, then why are you here? Then, yep, then what are you, why <laughs> are you doing this? Then why are you doing this? You gotta, you gotta believe in yourself. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's hard, and it's, you know. Yeah. I sort of, I understand where they're coming from. Yeah. Uh, but, and so it's like, there, there's times when Tindwall, it's like, what Tindwall's got to say it's like she she's definitely preferable with Vin than with Ellen. Yes. Like I you know, I get it and I'm on board in the sense of it's like, yeah, fuck this noble guy. Yeah. He, he, he can 
he can, you know, stand and put up with a little bit of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, it's like, you know, we know Alan, so we're like, hey, stop being yeah. mean to Alan. Yeah, be, it's, it's our boy. It's our boy Alan. Don't, don't be mean to him. <laughs> uh, yep, and so, you know. I just think of, like, in the first book, him, mm-hmm. like, running out to Vin, like, in the middle of, like, the whole, like, war zone and everything. Right, right. I'm like, Follette! And Follette! <laughs> like, what are you just, doing? What? What are you doing here? And then, like, fucking Kelsey has to save him. <laughs> save him and shit. Uh, Go. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, that was just, uh, was just mm-hmm. thinking about Island. Yep. And then uh, the wall gets a yes. test attack. Yeah. They, they do a little, a little mini attack on the wall. To sort of, like, scramble their defenses. Yep. And make them, you know, sort of see how they respond yeah like response time and mm-hmm. like tactics stuff like yep. that like what their kind of plan like what happens in, a t- in an attack mm-hmm. and it's also a little bit of sort of like a power play yep yeah you know sort of like trying to like you yeah know. i can take this city anytime the attack seemed to say it's mine no matter what you do remember that yep especially since this is happening like right before they're about to yep. go have this like meeting with them yep. so like, um this is actually technically an informal meeting this isn't my official <laughs> parlaying with them um parliament please yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't be <laughs> but uh but we'll, we'll get into that uh next chapter uh, cause that's the end of chapter 25. If yep. we have any more stuff about chapter 25. Um, I don't think so. Yeah. It's, uh, chapter 26, which I have the least, uh, notes on. I was really not <laughs> good about getting notes for this chapter, but that's okay. Um, yeah, my first note is, what does gender mean to Kondra? Mm. <laughs> because we have... A little bit. Oh, we didn't talk about how, like... Well, it, it comes up here that, like, Vin's trying on her, like, n- new, like, dress and stuff. And it's yeah. been all, like, decked out yep. with... It's it's a it's a misborn dress. The, the guy who made it gave her, like, you know, made it so that she could be mobile. And gave her, like, pockets and stuff so that she could have her, like, knives and, and vials okay, and stuff. Is. Um... She nodded to herself, smoothing her dress. Then uh, she walked up from behind the changing screen and studied herself in the mirror. Though the dressmaker had obviously sewn it to retain a traditional form, it didn't have uh, a completely triangular bell shape, but instead felt a bit straighter d- down along her thighs. It was cut open near the shoulders, though it had tight. S- it was cut open near the shoulders, though it had tight sleeves and open cuffs, and the waist bent with her and gave her a good range of motion. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, of course, any skirt would hardly be ideal for fighting, but this one was an enormous improvement over the bulky creations she had worn to parties a year before. Mm-hmm. What's also it's interesting because there's always this sort of like notion about like oh skirts as being like difficult to fight in and stuff, but it's like I don't know. Take it up with the Scottish and kilts. They yeah, seem yeah, to yeah. <laughs> they 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 got along all right. <laughs> For, for a while with... I mean, it just depends on, like, the length and, like... The style. Yeah. If they're, know. like, pleated and stuff, you have, like, way more motion. Mm-hmm. But if they're, like, a pencil skirt or something... Yeah, then exactly. you're not moving. <laughs> right. Which is funny, because they were like, oh, like, tighten things up, but it, it, and, like, I guess, like, in certain places and in other places, yeah. they're, like, making it, like, easier to, like, move with the with the dress. But it's, like... Yeah. They're al- it almost, like... I would... My, my initial thought is almost that they're, like, putting her in a pencil skirt and then being like, that'll make it easier to, like, move around in, which doesn't actually make sense. But that, that's not what they're what they're sort of doing. But it's like, oh, it's more yeah. like, you know... I, I guess it's just not like one of those, like, big sort of, like, hoop skirt kind of right, things. Right, right, Essentially, right. it's just sort of what they're trying to get across. Right. But, uh... Yeah, because, like, in the last chapter, they did talk... When they were talking to the guy, they was, like, talk about, like, the alterations yeah. and stuff. But now we actually get to see her, like... With, like, we didn't talk about that at all last yeah. chapter, but it's just kind yeah, of... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the shopping and stuff. Just in the shopping and stuff, you know. Like, I, I don't know if that... I doubt that shopkeeper guy ends up being important. But, uh... But yeah, so she's got her cool new dress, and she talks with Orser. Yeah. And they, they talk about Chandra gender. Yeah. Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just very, very briefly. Mm-hmm. It's like, like, uh... Give me more. Uh, like... 
uh, I've forgotten how much fun these were to, uh, these things could be to wear. I failed to see why that would be, mistress. That's because you're a man. Uh, I'm a chondra, but you're a male chondra. How do you know that? Gender is not easy to tell in my people since our forms are fluid. Mm-hmm. She's just like, I can, I can tell. tell. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's just, I have such, it's... It, it, yeah. It's so, because it's like... You know, to go, you don't understand because you're a guy, and it's like, you know, just these sort of like gender assumptions. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and uh, so it's like, what, he's a con, like, he's a dog right yeah, now. Yeah. Like, what is gender? What does, right. And, and so it's just like a little, like, weird. And I'm just like, I, I, I'd like more <laughs> out of this Condra gender conversation. We have... My seat was stolen. Yeah, we have some little friends with us now. We do have some friends. Hi, yeah. friend. I'm gonna move you. <laughs> you can just scoop her right up. Yep. Just scoop her up. Mm-hmm. Careful. It's Holly. It's, it's, it's Holly the little pup. She's not quite a year old yet, is she? No. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Um, what were we saying talking about chondra gender yeah it's like i want more out of this chondra gender discussion yeah. but we're, we're not we're not getting that right now yeah um but yeah and then uh ellen uh ellen asked not to be called l <laughs> yeah yeah we have that a little bit with like him and ham yeah and they're sort of like discussing and ham's like you know talking about like his safety going to like the camp and stuff and like oh you know should come with you and yada 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 and, you know um so they're sort of like getting ready to go because this is the chapter where we where we go to uh, meet with straff go to meet with straff my only other note for some reason the straff has obligators <laughs> uh, i highlight a, a bit where they talked about that yeah um Um, uh, look, uh, an, an obligator, uh, so that's it. He's using obligators, uh, to administrate. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. They'd know how to manage large groups of people. Right. And how to supply them. Yeah, it's a good idea, but it's surprising. It's, it implies that he still needs obligators, and that he's still subject to the Lord Ruler's, uh, authority. Right, because they're like, most of the other nobles have... Uh, threw off obligators as soon as they could. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Because they were sort of, you know, the people who were kind of, like, over the nobility in a yep. sense. Yeah, But now it's like the nobility is like, we have the power because we have, like, the sort of the mercantile yep. stuff going on. Like, we, like, they were just in, like, different realms, different yes. spheres. And so it's like, we have a lot of, like, the sort of, like, the material stuff while the obligators... Have, have like, the the structure and the, the knowledge in mm -hmm. coordinating, like... Right, and sort of, like, running things. Yeah. But they were, a lot of their sort of authority was so heavily tied to the Lord Ruler yep. because they were, like, his church officials, and now God's dead. What, yep. What, what do these priests, you know, mean to us anymore? Right. And so it's, like, this interesting kind of, you know, uh, dynamic. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, they're... they're they head over there to the camp. Is there any sort of, Oh, yeah, because... God, all over the place, but just because I didn't take good notes. Her and Orser. Orser doesn't come with them. Right. And she was like, I was hoping that he'd be more upset about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Which is just kind of silly. Um, but then, you know, they have the scene with Alan and, 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 and Ham and yep. them, and then they go off. Yeah, and then the they camp. get in the carriage and yep. stuff. Mm-hmm. And then they go and have they have dinner with Straff. Yeah. So first, uh, when they get in the carriage, he commands us. He commands us to come in the evening. We'll have mm -hmm. to leave when the mists are out. A crafty way of pointing out how much power he has over us. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um. Yeah, because it's all it's all power plays with with Straff. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, talked a little bit about Tindwill with mm -hmm. Ellen. Um, and then. Talking a little bit about Straff, and then we'll, yeah, then we'll just go on to, mm -hmm. they get to Straff's camp and talking about the obligators. Mm -hmm. um, I thought you said your father likes being in power. 
Uh, he does, but he also likes powerful tools. He always keeps a chondra, and he uh, and he has a history of associating with dangerous alamancers. He always he keeps a chondra. He can control them. Yeah. But yeah. Chondra. Something something about chondra because it's like they had a chondra. Yeah. And it's like we know that there's a chondra now. Is it Straff's mm-hmm. chondra? Is it Set's chondra? Right, right, is right. it like you know? Is someone in you know, friggin' Straff's retinue gonna turn out to be right. a chondra at some point when it's critical you know oh, yeah. i thought we killed this person but they were a chondra the right, whole time. right, yeah, right. It's like, who who knows eh. um but yeah yeah it's, so then they're trying to appear weak and stuff mm-hmm. throughout this whole night is like they're trying to appear mm-hmm. yeah but it's like like they're weak and they don't have anything that uh mm-hmm. straff wants right because there's a whole thing where it's like they're sort of talking and he's talking about like the ATM yep. and then Vin's like oh there's the moment where Vin like does some like alamancy she, she does she's like soothing him mm-hmm. she's soothing Straff and then Straff like makes a mention of it yeah it's like stop smoothing stop, stop, stop smoothing. soothing me stop smoothing me <laughs> <laughs> you've been made smooth <laughs> made smooth um, like Alveda then she whispers to Ellen He's good. I was as subtle as I can manage, and he still noticed my touch. Mm-hmm. Um, and they know he's a ten eye, and yeah. so Ellen's like, "Oh, she did that on purpose." Mm-hmm, to... um, because like she's way better than that. There's no way that he mm-hmm. would have actually not. He, he would have like felt it if she didn't want him to. Right. You know, she she's sort of intentionally trying to make herself not seem as sort of impressive. Yep. And she like is like, "Oh, we don't have the ATM. We couldn't find it." Because it's like, oh, that's smart. You know, he he won't try and, like, take the city because he's the, the whole... Or, like, you know. Yeah. You know, it's not like he's suddenly just going to be like, oh, never mind. But, you know, it's like, try not to sort of get him too excited about, like, taking the city immediately. Right. Um, and they also, like, Straff, uh, like, walks out like Ska in front of Vin and mm-hmm. is, like, trying to make her uncomfortable. And... Right, yeah, because he brings out one of his, like, you know, girls. Yeah. One of his... That, like, looks exactly like her. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, you know, very gross and uncomfortable. Yep, yep. Um, and, and it also, it, um, it makes me think of, uh, Vox Machina. Hmm. Because, did we ever, how far did we get into the animated series? We didn't. Did we get to, like, the tree? <laughs> no, but I do know about it. Yeah, where it's, like they've hung up i've seen the clip of like the actual mm-hmm. of like the critical role like yeah, yeah, yeah. but i know we did not get to it in the animation yeah because we, <laughs> we didn't get too far into the no into the 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 critical role animated season yeah um but yeah it kind of reminds me that the whole like sort of lookalikes and and whatnot you know it's yep. like yeah, yeah, yeah sort of sending a weird message that way yep um and then he's like he wants to talk to Ellen alone. Yes, he yeah. He, like, sends them out. Yep. Uh, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, I guess we're getting... Yeah, it's just kind of going back and forth, talking about the ATM mm-hmm. and, and all of that. And yep, and, and sort of being like, that. oh, you know, you can, you know, uh, we, yep. we can and be helpful. Vin doesn't know what she's talking about. I've kept the ATM hidden, even from her. I'm sure we can arrange something, Father. Yep. yep and yep, yep, which yep. just uh, secures it even more that they don't have it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're 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 playing their yeah. game. Yeah. Trying to sort of get Strav to think that he has all the sort of power in the situation. Yeah. Which like, he mostly does. Yes. It's like mm-hmm. they're they're playing it up, but I mean the, the, it's like it's also true that they also, don't they don't have mm-hmm. the the ATM and like mm-hmm. you know. Yep. It's like they the, would not do well in an attack. Nope. Yep, it's it's you know, it's interesting. <laughs> But they're trying to sort of, like, judo it. Use yep. use your opponent's weight yep. against them, yep. you know? I'm just like... Judo throw one army into the other. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> but then try not to get killed by the third army in the yep. process. Because it's then also like, oh, if these two fight each other, and then the Coloss army shows up, well, what are we going to do right, about that? Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, there's a... Mm-hmm. All yep. that going on. So mm-hmm. then, well, that's, uh, I think that's... And that's that's it for for the chapters. Yeah. Alrighty. And so we're doing. Yeah. Next time we're we're gonna be doing chapters. 
So we have marked out 27 through 34. But then it's or, like... Or like through 33. Yeah, through 33, which would be a lot. Yeah. Um, Because like this last time we like broke it up into like these smaller yeah. ones. But we'll, so we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. That's tentatively our plan. Yeah. We'll see what it ends up being. Because it could also even just sort of be that like we do these bigger chunks and then just like record Yeah. yeah smaller yeah. episodes. You know, it's, it's just whatever we... We, we don't have to be so beholden to... Yeah. Whatever we're feeling. <laughs> yeah. D- no no expectations. <laughs> <laughs> just just fun. Just, just fun. Just talking about book. Yep. We're, we're, we're just over here talking about book is mm-hmm. all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this, this, this has been, this has been good. This mm-hmm. is, um, it's, it's interesting. We're, we're getting, we're yep. getting some. Yep. We're, uh, like almost halfway or right about halfway. Yeah. Basically. It's, it's, it's wild because these books, they always sort of feel like, you know, it's like, and I don't feel like we're halfway. Yes. Yeah. Because then you get to like, you get basically an, another like quarter or whatever right and you then, sort of get into like the the last third or quarter right and, and then and then it's like oh oh this is insane mm-hmm. okay it all, it all starts coming together in this way because i'm like because i'm still like I are just, we going to the well of ascension or not <laughs> i just remembered that like this book made me cry for an hour <laughs> is okay because I'm like, there were a few times where you, where I remember you being like, this book made me... Like, this book made me cry for an hour. The mm-hmm. next book made me cry for, like, three or four hours. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, I don't know what it's going to be <laughs> yet. Yeah. Because, like, in the last book, it's like, oh, it's Kelsier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, you know, it's like, Kelsier's yeah. going to die. I didn't expect him to die that, you know... Right. Li- quite like that. But it's like, oh, you know, there's going to be tragedy about that. But now it's like what's it gonna be and I don't like it it's gonna like catch me off guard and I'm gonna be sad (laughs) but yeah so so yeah that's that's been that's been our podcast yeah it's been book this has been book um I I know that we have a thing yeah so something about book on your own time that's true yeah it's like oh yeah it's like now you can go forth and think about book on your own time yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) Yep. and and you know comment about your your feelings on book your thoughts and feelings on book always love seeing comments i'd I'd be interested if someone's like here's the thing about clubs yeah yeah (laughs) you know it's like in in this version it was blah 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 you know (laughs) Um, but yeah, we, we love seeing comments and stuff, and, uh, yeah, have, have a good whatever time it is, wherever yes, you are. have a lovely day. Yeah. Bye-bye.